According to the Ghana Statistical Service, about 40% of school-age individuals with visual impairments have not had any type of formal education. And this can be attributed largely to the fact that the devices that are used to teach Braille language are inaccessible and are very expensive. Hi, my name is Erika Ayegi Amorata, a Shesi class of 2025. I majored in electrical and electronics engineering. And for my capstone project, I worked on the design of a low-cost interactive braille learning device for young children with visual impairments in Ghana. I designed a device that teaches the alphabet and two and three letter words in braille. It's guided by audio and tactile buttons. So the tactile buttons help you to input your answer and the audio mentions the word or the letter you're trying to learn and that guides the visually impaired user as to how to use it. The device is different because it's very, very low cost. Usually Braille devices on the market cost about 15,000 CDs, but my device cost about 1,013 CDs, which is about $66. And that's what makes the difference. One of the biggest challenges when working on this project was trying to balance affordability with quality and functionality. I needed to make sure that despite the device's low cost, it not compromise on the quality that I was looking for. The second challenge I found was that because it's a very novel student project, it was very hard accessing resources on how to make the device work. And so I needed to be very creative in coming up with ways to be able to solve this problem. Courses like material science, embedded systems, and year three engineering projects gave me the technical skills I needed to design and develop my prototype. And Ashish's emphasis on human-centered design in courses like Foundations of Design and Entrepreneurship helped me to focus on the user's perspective, creating a device meaningful for the children it's meant to save. My biggest takeaway from this project is that innovation does not need to be high-tech or complicated in order to solve a problem, that even the simplest designs can make an impact. Thank you.